this might be one of those insanely unique Terraria mods that I have ever played. From insanely unique boss fights to even being able to platform during a boss fight. Let's hop in game and check it out. Today we are here checking out another one of the most unique Terraria mods I've seen and that is the hijinks mod. As you can see we got this bouncing marigold here. Hold up. I can actually bounce on his head? <laughs> and that's one of the sick things about this mod that makes it super unique. It's not like the super highest quality mod in terms of like sprite work as you can see some of the sprites are a little bit odd compared to Terraria's normal sprite but it has so many unique concepts in it like for example being able to stand on things like this like i've never seen a mod do anything like this besides like one or two ever let's hop into the bosses the bosses are low-key my favorite from this mod and we start off pretty early as you can see right after the eye hubert and boombert amazing names buy this item from the demolitionist and use it all right first off Let's get the guy up out of here. I just noticed my screen is shaking. It's because this slime, fraudulent king slime is pulling up. Yeah, let's make it nighttime because they only come out at night. And let's bring in Boobert and Hubert, whatever the hell their names were. Oh, damn. I like the little spawn animation with the fireworks. But look at my boys. They pulled up. So which one's Boombert? Obviously the bomb and the Hubert is the regular ass dude on top of the bomb. We got a lot of enemies pulling up. Can no enemies pull up? We're in the middle of something. But yeah, as we can see, very unique idea for a boss literally a dude riding a bomb and then he's throwing bombs everywhere never have seen this idea before in terraria so this is unique it's not like oh it's the eighth antline boss that we found in the desert so already off to a great start obviously with the bomb theme he's gonna throw bombs and he's gonna blow stuff up but what other attacks do you got for us boom bird let me take out my terrarian because we don't want to do too much damage to him i'm getting jumped by every enemy from this mod he's got jumping attacks he's got the projectile exploding attacks what else do you got for us he kind of like jumps up in the air i don't know what the hell he's doing when he does that but let's see what happens if we take out boomer is there a second phase oh there is okay and now 1v1 against hubert he's kind of moving did he really need boomer to be moving around he's moving faster oh hold up my boy got the smoke cloud where he just launches more bombs hard to see him hard to hit him you're not gonna have homing early game right so it's definitely gonna be hard to hit him in that smoke cloud but he's pretty much got nearly the same attacks maybe just a little bit more fast and just sporadic but i think we've seen everything from our boy there's no way there's a phase three no way there's a phase three <laughs> We gotta fight Boomer now. Wait, hold up. Hubert's still there. He's just off to the side. Yo, this might be better than Ornstein and Smo. Boomer and Hubert might be on top when it comes to the duo bosses. These dudes are the tag team champions. Let's get Boomer out of here. He's got way more vicious attacks than the earlier forms. But there you go. Dead. For real this time. There we go. What a hot boss to start off with. I like that one. That honestly might be my favorite from the mod because I've fought him like a handful of times. What's popping in the treasure bag? Real quick. Murderous bombs. Okay, we get our own little ba bomb. All right, changed up the scenery a little bit. I don't know what these are. These little like stripper poles. Like what are these? I don't know how to get on these if you're even supposed to get on them. But yeah, next boss is the Magnificent Moon. I don't remember this boss. I don't think I've ever seen this one or fought this one. So let's see what's popping what the hell puny all right i'm about average size now come on don't be dissing my height magnificent moon this is straight up a sun this ain't no damn moon the other one looks like a moon maybe that is the moon but that one that's going around is fast i can't keep up with him this is a what post brain boss post corruption slash crimson boss that's actually insane he's gigantic first off and anytime i get near him he kind of like knocks me away is what it looked like or at least maybe that's just one of the attacks from the the little thing stone sun so this is the moon and the little one's the sun okay a little bit uh reverse there but let's start doing some damage can we even hit the stone sun we can't so it seems like the the moon you just kind of gotta avoid i'm assuming if i hop out a got gr literally walked straight into the actual sun like the actual real sun that burns at 10,000 degrees fahrenheit at the surface that one actually that might be a different one this one's nearly as lethal though okay so i'm so confused which one is the sun and which one's the moon run it back i ain't accepting no disses so this time i'm beating the hell out of you it seems like it's getting way bigger the more damage we do no way oh god he's got laser beams there is actually no way in hell you're supposed to be able to dodge this thing like physically like how, how would i fight this we're talking about pre-hard mode I, i'm not gonna be able to move that fast it just keeps getting bigger so the more damage that you do it legit just gets bigger and it's got its own gravitational pull right now i'm getting like sucked in that or the little tiny moon is hitting me let's finish this boss off though because there's no way there's anything else we need to see oh my god <laughs> 
What a crazy death animation. And look at that. The stone sun dipped. That that boss is actually kind of crazy. I didn't think it was going to be that weird. Hold up. Another summon weapon? It seems like we get a lot of summon weapons. They all seem pretty decent and cool, too. Oh, my God. This thing shoots lasers? All right. This next boss is really sick. In the desert, we have this little structure here. It looks a little bit weird, but at the same time, kind of cool. It reminds me of like something you see in like Zelda or maybe even like a Mario Galaxy world. But this is the Forgotten Sacrifice. Make it to the top of the mysterious ruins in the desert. So this is a little parkour thing you got to do in pre-hard mode. When was this boss? Oh, it's right after the last one. So still really early pre-hard mode. But yeah, you got to grapple your way to the top. And once you get up here, I believe you have to fight what was pulling up on us. Something is pulling up on us. We got like a little turret, little century but yeah once we get up here you gotta fight this little mini boss peep this boom my boy pulling up he's got his own flail and everything the jailer he's got the little bumping music sounds like tetris music but you need to kill this guy oh look he got minecraft blocks we kill bro he drops the lock claw which is a little grappling hook so this honestly is kind of good here because you do need to use the grappling hook here especially early game if you take this boss on you probably won't have a good grappling hook but yeah by killing him i believe you're now able to break these blocks let me see let me take out like a weak pickaxe i don't know if this is actually how it works or not oh yeah you can because i think you can't break them until you kill that guy and then you go ahead and navigate through this little little dungeon and then we get up here boom look at that a key the key floats ominously near the ground click alt fire to pick it up aka okay, that's just right click did i even pick it up or maybe it's like an auto pickup sort of thing like it automatically goes to where it needs to go same thing with over here though boom we get the other key now the middle tower should be open yes sir we could go ahead and get in here oh look it's got its own little background okay kind of high quality a little bit weird how it kind of like clips in and out you feel a presence in the room with us uh oh let's go ahead let's light this up a little bit and let's see who is watching us oh i shall not be slain Shoo, i'm in god mode so it's either you or me and it's definitely not gonna be me we got forgotten sacrifice so we got like a little uh egyptian theme type boss here uh he's got little balls he's shooting out and they actually do bounce off the walls so this arena is made this way hold up he's sucking me in what's up with all these gravitational pulls and then he's got a little dash attack okay i'm messing with this the only thing i don't like is how the background keeps cutting in and out so you probably gotta put like platforms down here in the middle so you can have a little easier fight and not get stuck down here and also you won't see the background switching up where are these explosives those gotta be explosives yeah look gravitational pull attacks on terrier bosses is like low-key a top three toughest attack because like what can you do most of the time you can't do anything if you don't got like a dash or a way to get out of it like you're just kind of gonna get sucked in no matter what does this boss have any other attacks though as we progress okay little feather explosion and then what is that like thing feared and revered what is that it's like something floating in the air this dude keeps on making like weird eating noises <laughs> What is that noise? My boy's eating snacks in the middle of the boss fight. Oh, here we go. He got another little attack, a little jumping attack. This is not a bad boss fight, though, given the time that you fight it. Oh, I like that. The gravity suck with like blocks coming in. Kind of sick. Not a bad boss at all. And I do like that he has his own little boss tower he's in. Oh, this dude got a phase two. I didn't even know he had a face too. Hold up, my boy got lasers. He got the bullet hell laser. Is that a gun? My boy got the Glocky. I don't, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at in terms of like looks. Like, are those his hands? There's got to be his hands, right? Because obviously he's holding a gun. But my boy's got the laser grid. He's got the little laser beams and then he's got the gun. Kind of sick. I was expecting like more like fist attacks because I thought those are like two fists and he was gonna like slam the floor or something. I don't know. I feel like that's like a boss you'd seen like Mario do. A giant floating head and then two fists. Like that is literally like a bunch of Mario bosses they look like that. But this is a sick boss. Didn't even know there was gonna be phase two. Looks like it'd be kind of hard for how early this is. But that might just be because we're in master mode. But what goodies do you got in the backpack? Go ahead and show me. Pointy storm sack. What does that even mean? Look at the, the noises it makes. Oh, it's like a throwable. And it makes a weird noise every time I hit something. The next boss might be pretty hard just because it's pre-Wall of Flesh. As you can see, the name is Insanity. Wajersh Gajersh. 
And we have to slay something and hold up an item. Let's see if I can just hold up the item. Oh, yeah. Ew. Nasty screen, but look at this. Look at what we could do against this boss. How the hell are you supposed to dodge that? We can stand on this boss. When has something like this ever been done in Terraria? We can literally stand on this boss while we fight it. And we have to, what, hit it in the head? So, like, honestly, you might actually have to really stand on it to get the damage done. With the way it's moving around, that or he could just, like, actually accidentally pick you up while you're flying around i'm trying to land directly on top of his head come up here and let me land directly on your head i don't know, I don't know if you can he's moving too much to land oh there you go hey <laughs> we're going on a ride damn brought my ass to space yeah this is a very scary looking boss this is what i was talking about with like the sprite work i'm assuming it's supposed to look scary this is definitely based on something but i feel like if they just like make some of these sprites look more like terraria bro or just give it like a slightly higher detailed theme this mod would definitely be up there because the unique idea ideas are definitely the best thing about this mod. I like the little thing in the top right in the background. Kind of looks like a, a rift that the boss came through. This fight itself doesn't seem like super crazy other than being able to stand on it. It's like a lot of lasers and then a couple projectiles. But this, oh, here we go. He heard me talking. He said, not crazy. Hold up. Let me show you crazy. My boy just started bouncing us around on top of the balls. Pause. Yeah, I have no idea how you would fight this thing though in pre-hard mode. Look, look at this. <laughs> what is happening? It honestly might be easier to not use homing let's take it out though i still don't know how you would dodge that laser attack oh i'm back on top of the head i can't use my yo-yo the string is so far away wait hold up he fucked up he fucked up he didn't go as high as he could i'm still missing attacks with the yo-yo though look at this <laughs> oh he went to the top he went to the top Let, let's bring his ass back down you know what actually let's just kill him right here yo you could actually like grab onto him with the grappling hook that's crazy that is actually crazy let's finish it though i'm tired i'm tired of it i'm tired of the screaming i'm tired of the music terrifying like what is that actually terrifying you see a zombie right here i can't damage him unless i knock that little helmet off his head yeah what crazy thing did that boss drop it didn't really drop much benefits fishing greatly that's not the thing i would expect <laughs> i believe that that is all the normal bosses from the mod so it just goes up to pre-hard mode there is a couple of like mini bosses spread around for example there's another one like this where we kind of like touch the altar and one spawns in hermes guess what this dude drops hermes boots nice little mini boss you can fight to get hermes boots but now let's just take a look at some of the other things in this mod mainly the enemies a lot of unique enemies uh again like i look at some of these sprites and i'm like what am i looking at some of them are perfectly fine but others are like what what is that ice block can i stand on the ice block no can i push the ice block let's see so the copper short sword look at that can actually push an ice block around can i push it into enemies i have no idea come over here i can't tell if it's hitting them or not oh maybe no i'm hitting them but very interesting that you could even bounce an ice block around what else is there wild train i'll be honest with you that does not look like a train tram station what is this a tame tram skids to a stop it beckons you to climb in what <laughs> where did this just bring me is this is what kidnapping looks like all right what else do you got demon summoner oh this is a good dude demonic summoning procedure what <laughs> what even what is even going on here ritual monolith rituals do not work unless you are holding this swing when conditions are met to summon a demon what does this even mean okay i'm holding i'm holding it gather the seven plant them close a seedling is unadvisable i don't know what this stuff means i don't think this mod has a wiki so there might be a lot of things that are very hard to figure out sage Oh, that's another little mini boss that you can find. Okay, I'm assuming that's in the uh, ice biome. We got a lot of cool enemies. We got this like hunter enemy. Look at that. My boy pulls up on you. There's a hairless thing. Ew, what is that? Get that thing out of here. Conductor. What's he conducting? A train? Music? John Hammer. What the? <laughs> we got another little mini boss. Who the hell is John Hammer? Seems like that's really it though. Wait, hold up, hold up. Maybe these are like the demon looking things. I just noticed that there's like a certain certain set of these enemies here that look weird. Raphael Fish? What are these names? What? What's going on? <laughs> I could like move around really weirdly. Off guard, hooks are disabled. This dude like messes up the movement like completely. This is weird. Raphael Fish? That That's actually scary. Get his ass up out of here. The ghoulish guy. Oh, he looked ghoulish. For sure. You're giving us a debuff. Oh, menacing presence. Extremely high gravity hooks are disabled. So we literally like sink when we jump up. 
What is that? He's spawning in like black dildos everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> this dude freaky. I don't want to fight him. The freaky guy. He ain't the ghoulish guy. The great Gary. SpongeBob. Yo, little platforms that we can jump onto. I don't know how you get up here, though, without a grappling hook or flight. But these are sick. As y'all can obviously see, there is some crazy stuff here. And in the future, I really want to see them flesh out some of it. I think the idea of fighting a tutorial boss where you have to, like, platform majority of it to, like, get to a certain area to fight the boss. Kind of sick. The idea of that is very cool especially in a game like terraria again like there's barely any bosses i can really think where platforming is really involved the only one i really can think of is just the starlight river bosses where you have to sort of like climb around when you're fighting the uh the giant squid in starlight river and then you got the other starlight river boss where you gotta you got the platforms that are going up and down and you gotta get on them but yeah now let's go ahead and peep the items from the mod i don't know how crazy they're gonna be let's let's find out real quickly i think my easily most favorite thing about about like terraria mods dang it's kind of sick my favorite thing about terraria mods when you make like a giant mod pack the accessories in mod packs are actually crazy like they will be the most random and overpowered accessories you can find and on top of that they just like combine into even crazier things if you guys don't know i'm doing a giant like unique mod pack like i made my most unique mod pack and i'm doing a playthrough on it on my twitch and second channel if you miss, miss the twitch streams and like i'm starting to find like insanely op accessories in the mod pack and it's just so fun equipping them and just seeing what they do but honestly the weapons in this mod uh, they seem kind of good a lot of lasers so if you're a big laser fan there you go and then there's a lot of other stuff what is this it's like a drill it like drops on people's heads it's like a yo-yo drill the jungler yo this thing looks sick <laughs> plants versus zombies chopper looking ass hold on how many can i have can i actually have a bunch of them not just one yeah there can only be one of the jungler literally says that the weapons are sick like there's some like really high quality terraria mods that don't even have weapons this cool but yeah it seems like that is the hijinx mod a very tiny smaller content mod though it still has a lot of fun content in it let me go ahead and put on some of these armor sets this is a goofy looking armor set what else you got scrap suit this actually looks sick i look like a goddamn brotherhood of steel member one more armor set let's put this one on astro rock yo this armor set looks weird and we get a little robot what does the robot do your own hype man hold up what are you giving me hype for so we get immunity to a bunch of debuffs this is actually pretty good but yeah sick mod it's one of those mods that are probably lesser known but is definitely unique and i would low-key install it in future mod pack playthroughs i think my only gripe with this mod because i did have it in a mod pack is that the spawn rate for the regular monsters from this mod a little too damn high so mod dev of this mod if you're seeing this probably should fix that that was my biggest pet peeve because a lot of the enemies from this mod are a little bit annoying as you can see we got a titan that's just throwing axes 24 7 we got a dude that dashes through blocks even this dude that's sponsoring the daytime these hedgehogs like look at this crazy projectiles they dash at you they're very annoying so i would likely say turn down the spawn rates for regular enemies a little bit but shout out to everyone that's working on the mod make sure y'all check it out also make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on the notification bell for future videos again check out my twitch if you want to see me playing that giant mod pack and a bunch of other terraria related streams and also check out the second channel where i post those streams but i will be seeing y'all next time what's going on have a good one everybody